What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Tyson, and today we're gonna to be diving into the world of integrations inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, specifically today, we'll be covering how to integrate with HubSpot, making it super easy for you to be able to manage your contacts where you want them, have full control over where people are being sent, and well, that's basically it. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the video here. I'll show you how to set everything up step by step. Okay, I'm currently started off on my dashboard here inside of the platform. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on settings in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Once we do that, we're gonna use the secondary navigation that will appear here to choose integrations. All right, now from there, go ahead and click on add integration. It'll appear, or sorry, connect integration over here on the right, right hand side of the screen. And you'll see a little pop up appear in the middle there. All right, scroll down until we see the option for HubSpot or type it in at the top, totally up to you. In this case, I'm gonna choose it directly. Just click on it from there. And in this case, you wanna make sure that you're signed in in a different tab. Uh, you'll go ahead, click on the plus icon up here, open up a new tab, sign into your HubSpot account. And once you're already signed in, you should be good to go and uh, it will detect that. Okay, now from there, go ahead and select the actual account that you have selected or, or logged into inside of your browser. Click on connect or click on choose account rather. And you should be brought to a second page here where you should have to confirm and or deny the option here to set up this integration. Now just click on the check mark here and by default it should just process and move forward. There we go. Okay, now with that in place, all we have to do is now actually use it or implement it inside of a workflow. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and dive into a workflow and show you how to set everything up. So click over here on marketing within that left-hand navigation. And once that loads, we're gonna go ahead and choose the actual workflow you wanna add this to. In this case, if you do not have a workflow, you don't have one created yet, make sure to add one first. Go over here and click on add new workflow. Um, if you want a little bit more information about how workflows are meant to function, what they are supposed to do, and just how to use them in general, I do have a video that will be linked in the description if you wanna check that out, learn a little bit more about it. Um, otherwise, just hop into a, an existing workflow that we already have here, and uh, we'll go ahead and set this up. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna use this one as an example, and once that loads, we're gonna add a new step in the sequence. Uh, so in this case, click on the little circle icon there in the middle of that line, and that will bring up the options to add a new step inside of this email sequence, or this workflow rather. All right, now from there, just scroll all the way down to the bottom until we get to third-party integration. Click on that directly, and then uh, from there, we can either search again, same, same thing as what we saw on the integration setup page, or just scroll down until we find HubSpot which is right here. All right, so click on that directly. And once that loads, it's gonna have you verify and confirm your account here. Just click on that and uh, it'll say verifying and connected when it's done. And from there, just click on next so we can continue the process here where we can set up the action. Now, in this case, you only have two actions that you can select from. One is to add to a list and one is to remove from a list. In this case, we're gonna add to a list. We're gonna select that list, which there's only one in this case for this particular account. With that list selected, let's go ahead and scroll down so we can finish up the actual integration setup process. Now, all we have to do is map out the actual data points, the actual fields that are gonna be sent over to HubSpot. Now, all this means in practicality is go down the list here and select from the dropdown the value that you see over here on the left-hand side. That's it. <laughs> so in this case, uh, starting at the top, we have see email. So we'll just select email and just continue that same trend all the way down um, for all the options that you can actually select something for. If you don't see a value for uh, a specific thing, such as like marital status, that's not gonna be an option here. Just go ahead and select skip and that's it, all right? So go ahead and just fill this in and I'll meet you at the bottom. Okay, we have all those mapped out. Now from here, go ahead and click on next. And it's gonna take us to the last portion, the last thing we have to do, which is gonna to be to save and that's it. All right, once we've saved, it's going to reload the page. It's gonna take us right back to that third party integration window that we started off here. Um, started off here in, there we go, this guy right here. And if you give it a second, it'll close up by itself or you can click on the X icon here and uh, you'll be good to go. Just like that, we have the integration added to our workflow here and it's ready to be used, all right? Now, the last thing we wanna double check is to make sure that the workflow is actually live and on. And to do that, all you have to do is go over here, just make sure it looks exactly like this. This is the on location. As long as this toggle to the right, uh, then you are good to go. Okay, with that said, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like some clarity around anything we covered today, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to guide you as best I can or point you in the right direction. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. All right, with that said, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.